Hey guys, it's Matt. I'm reporting in for the end of, I guess it's week 10. Um, wow, this uh, is really going fast. We're almost done. And yes, I do have the sniffles. Uh, all of a sudden, Friday night, <clears throat> I just, my sinuses started filling up and it uh, really is getting annoying, but I'm taking some medicine. Good old Mucinex here. I'm trying to kick it as quickly as possible. Um, but, uh, probably gonna make this short and sweet today. Um, last week was an amazing week for me. Yes, I did mess up once, but otherwise I did really well. Uh, I started doing something new, and I'm gonna try to keep going just to kind of be. I guess you could say hardcore for the last couple weeks here. Uh, breakfast and lunch being a protein shake with mostly vegetables added into it uh, to help cut down some of the meals that I've been eating. Uh, and then having a regular dinner. Um, as you saw in the picture that I posted, my daughter, she got a hold of my shake the other day. And uh, she wouldn't give it back, <clears throat> but uh, I thought it was kind of funny. She she drank almost a quarter of it before we finally got it back, and then she got all upset and buried her head into my leg and just started crying and crying. Um, but we're not here to talk about her. We're here to talk about me. <clears throat> um, as for my weight, I weighed in this morning at uh, 326, which is a grand total of about, what, Five or see here. yeah, five pounds lost from last week. Um, most of my measurements stayed pretty much the same, with the exception of my leg and chest measurements. They went down um, by a couple decent inches. So I'm not sure if uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. I know that I've <clears throat> been doing some dips, which I can really feel in my chest and some crunches. I should feel in my abs, but I didn't see any change there. Um, and then my legs. Uh, the only thing I'm doing is my normal walking and stuff. So, oh wait, I take that back. I did some <clears throat> stair stepping at the church this week. Uh, intentional stair stepping. Um, uh, I'm like a how do you call it, uh, like to a rhythm, and I did it for a few minutes, because I wanted to do something for my legs this week, so maybe that helped out, I don't know, um, I've been just, here you know, lately, since I haven't been able to make time to actually lift the weights and do the home gym stuff, I just kind of, when I have a free moment between doing the stuff here at the church, or, uh, at home, just kind of, or even at work, doing some types of exercises that will allow me to use my body weight. Um, like yesterday at work during my last break I I sat down on the park bench outside and stretched my legs across the other park bench and did some dips off the park benches. Uh, I did three sets of seven and then like the day before I did some dips here at the church with some uh, suspended push-ups off the same chairs where I drop down in between uh, I can really I can see the difference when I take my pictures I'll show you you'll see probably hopefully um, in my in the, the spot between my chest and my back where it used to be really flabby when my arms were out and now it's starting to um, cut it could be just my imagination, but no, I'm, I really think I'm starting to see a, a little bit of difference, a change in my physique. I know my stomach's starting to flatten, it, flatten out a little bit. Um, well, amazing thing is, uh, okay, quick side note. I know I mentioned last week in the video that I hadn't been feeling the energy. Um, I don't know, maybe it was a mind over matter thing, but I haven't noticed any like real super tiredness. Um, I really feel the energy today, so I, it may have been just a mind over matter thing, you know, pushing through a couple rough weeks, just, I wasn't, uh, 
quite up to par, but I know that um, last week and today, taking my Lipo 6 Unlimited, I feel great. I feel motivated. Um, anyway, getting back to what I was saying was uh, yesterday when I was buying my uh, cold medicine, the uh, cashier, who I rarely even talk to, rarely even see, uh, but she goes, wow, she goes, I just noticed it. You've really lost some weight. Uh, so it really made me happy to see that, you know, somebody who I, I hardly even see, hardly even talk to, noticed it right away. And I'm starting to notice that this here is starting to go away. I'm starting to develop more of a, a jawline and neck, uh, which is one of the things that I would love to see go away is this double chin, just because, uh, well, in taking this picture, I can really see what I have left, and... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I know. Laugh at me. Um, yeah, needless to say, everything's going great. I'm working hard. I'm staying uh, devoted. Uh, when I post my uh, fit reps for the remainder of last week, you'll notice, uh, I think it was Friday. No, I know it was Friday. Uh, I didn't input my last meal. Um, yeah, that was partially because we had the um, dedication service and... There was way too many yummies, and uh, I was just like, you know what, everybody's celebrating, so I'm going to celebrate too. Um, so, yeah, I told my mom, I said, yeah, when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to weigh a few pounds more than what I did this morning, which is exactly what happened. But then yesterday I made up for it, and I, I was really strict on what I ate, which helped out and get me back down to the same weight I was Thursday morning. <laughs> Uh, but I am committed. We got two weeks left, and uh, I plan to put my best foot forward, like I said last week, and try to kick through it. I have nothing special going on over the next two weeks except for lots of work and diet and exercise. So that's my plans. Work hard, make changes, do the best I can be to finish off with a bang. With me weighing at 326 right now, I would not be surprised if I could pull off the same thing to be somewhere around 315 by the end of the challenge. I'd like to see that. Uh, my goal at the beginning of the challenge was to be as close to 300 as possible by the end of the challenge, and I'm really starting to see those goals take, uh, take form, because at 315, that would put me down a grand uh, 55 pounds overall for the challenge. Um, and I, I just, I can tell the difference, you know, especially at work. Uh, I'm not having the problems with my ankles that I once wanted. I mean, every once in a while they flare up, but again, uh, I think some of that has to do with the weather changes. <laughs> it's weird. My ankle does the same thing that somebody with arthritis does when there's a weather change or it gets cold or hot, I tend to notice a little bit more problems. So, But I know that the closer and closer I get to my goal, my target weight, uh, the less and less problems I have, even when the weather changes. Um, hopefully that uh, by, the, by the time I get there, uh, I will be doing really good. Uh, so anyway, to everyone that's left, let's keep our heads up and keep our eyes on the prize because we are we are we're doing it. We're pushing through. We're making it. And uh, again, I want to give a shout out to Sally and congratulate her on being the uh, inches leader. Uh, you're certainly doing a great job, uh, Jason, uh, Guillermo. You guys are looking really good. Uh, you guys are, uh, how do you say it, kind of, uh, you guys are giving me encouragement because I want to be fit like you guys, and you guys are definitely um, way closer to your targets than what I am, but uh, when I get there, uh, I want to be able to be a encouragement to others. I've got people who are telling me they're trying to lose weight and they're asking me, you know, what are you doing? And um, I'm just 
just being like trying to watch my macronutrients. Um, something I've learned through this challenge, I probably said it and I'll say it again, it's not really about the calories. Uh, again, calories are just a measurement of energy expended in order to process the food. Uh, the more important part is the macronutrients. That's the one thing I have learned and I will continue to be a evangelist for this because uh, yes, eating the proper amount of calories a day is important, but also making sure those calories are made up of the right amount of nutrients. Otherwise, you're just eating empty calories and your body is just paying for it later. So, again, I gotta make I gotta cut this short now. Long day again today, working another Sunday afternoon between services, so I gotta get some work done here in the office. So keep your heads up, your eyes on the prize. Until next time, this is Matthew signing out.